Okay, today I'm gonna show you how to stack some dimes on a three-pass fillet weld. This is really common in the off-road and motorsports industry. They'll literally pay you to make your welds like this. I'm gonna start by setting a machine to 17 volts and 200 wire feed speed. We're using 035 wire. Turn on that gas, make sure you're at 30 to 20 CFH. Make sure you have a clean contact tip and nozzle. Replacing that contact tip after it wears out helps prevent poor restarts and tacks, and also it's really necessary for the short circuiting process. Right here I'm tacking up my plate. Most of the time I'd use my other hand to keep that plate in position while I tack it, but I'm filming in this case. So to start off, we're doing this cursive E movement. There's gonna be a lot of talking about this, and this is the main part of making that stack of dimes or MIG like TIG look. You can see I do almost like a cursive E or a circular loop. I step out about a quarter of an inch, get penetration into the center of the joint, and then I go back about an eighth of an inch, and I repeat the process. And I kind of do a big circular loop to get that MIG like TIG look. If you make these circles too close together, a lot of times it's gonna blend in all together and you're not gonna isolate those ripples and get them spaced out how you want and it'll look like you just went and welded in a straight line, okay? This is what it should look like. We're going for about a quarter inch weld size. Second pass, this is the oscillation we're gonna do. We're gonna overlap half of the previous weld and half of our weld that we're laying down is going to go on to new metal. This is the key to getting an even overlap and also an even fillet weld on multi-pass welds. This is definitely the hardest part. It's just forcing yourself to overlap that previous weld halfway and that way if you do that you can follow that line halfway through that weld and the other half is going on to new metal. That's the only way you can get an even fillet weld with proper overlap. Whenever we weld in the horizontal position, we're always gonna weld bottom to top, so it gives us a shelf for that metal to stay on, okay? So I put my second pass on the bottom leg side of that fillet weld. This is traditionally a little quicker than the first pass. This is what it should look like. Barely any of that first weld you should be able to see because you overlapped it. Now we're going for that third pass, tying everything together. Very similar to the second, we're gonna wait a little longer and pause a little longer at the top to fill everything in. We're cutting that weld in half. As you can see, I'm pausing at the top a little bit and a little at the bottom. And half of that weld's getting cut in half and half of it that I'm putting down is going on that top plate. And this is gonna give us a really nice even fillet weld. It's gonna look really good too. So believe it or not, most of what we're doing here is building muscle memory and that's gonna be done through repetition and practice. That's the only way you're gonna get better. And when you're done, it should look something like this. Now another tip is every pass you do, you're gonna wire wheel it to remove the silicon deposits, otherwise, that all floats to the top and it can mess the appearance on multi-pass welds. People always ask me what's the secret. It's just practice. You gotta practice and you gotta practice the right way. And otherwise, if you could give me a thumbs up and uh, comment down below what you want to see next. Thank you.